This is why I stopped eating Doritos. And you know, there's no such thing of a motherfucking Dorito. Doritos are not real. It's not a real thing. There is no fucking tree in nature that you can find Doritos growing from. You know, say like if there was an ingredients label for an apple, it should only say apple. You know, but there is no ingredients label for an apple because an apple is an apple. You know, I like to eat fruit because what you see is what you get. A fucking orange is a fucking orange. You know, an avocado is a fucking avocado. I don't like the games. I don't like playing the games. I don't like the deception. I don't like the lies. I don't like the illusions. And you avoid all that shit when you eat fruit. Now with products like Doritos, on the other hand, that's not the case. What you see is not what you get. And, you know, Doritos is like an umbrella term. You know, what they really did was they took a bunch of shit and mixed it all together and they gave it a name. There's no such thing of a fucking Dorito. And if Doritos were real, when you flip the bag over and you look at the ingredients, it would just say Dorito. But it doesn't say that because there's no such thing of a fucking Dorito. And so what exactly is a Dorito? Whole corn. Corn. Pause. Now what the fuck is the difference between whole corn and corn? I don't know. But there's a difference. That's why they list them separately. Then you got vegetable oil and there's no such thing of vegetable oil. What they call vegetable oil is made up of corn oil, canola oil, and or sunflower oil. And then you have corn dextrin. You have salt. You have cheddar cheese. Pause. There's no such thing of cheddar cheese. But they tell you what this cheddar cheese really is. Milk, cheese cultures, salt, and enzymes. Now what the fuck are cheese cultures and what the fuck are enzymes? There's no specifics. Just really vague terms. Then you have whey, monosodium glutamate or MSG. Remember that because I'm going to talk about that. I can't talk about every fucking ingredient in this bag, but I will talk about MSG. Then you have buttermilk. You have Romano cheese and there's no such thing of Romano cheese. What Romano cheese really is, is part skim cow's milk, more cheese cultures, more salt and more enzymes. You have whey protein concentrate. You have onion powder. You have corn flour. You have natural and artificial flavor. Pause. What the fuck? are natural and artificial flavors. These are umbrella terms. They're not telling you what these natural and artificial flavors are. Why aren't they telling us? They don't ever withhold anything good from us. The only thing they withhold from us is bad. And so the truth about natural and artificial flavors, this could be hundreds of different chemicals that make up these natural and artificial flavors. And you don't know what any of them are. They don't tell you. See, they got too many fucking secrets for me. You know, but they do give you enough information to allow you to make an informed decision. Like, I don't need to read all of this. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm stopping at motherfucking vegetable oil. Because you shouldn't be eating oil. And really, I could stop at corn. Because anytime you see corn on a label and it doesn't say non-GMO, then it's GMO. Because most of the corn produced in America nowadays is GMO. Less than 10% of the corn produced in the United States today is real corn. So where the fuck did I stop at? Artificial flavor. So boom, then you got dextrose, you have tomato powder, you have lactose, which is motherfucking milk fat. 
Then you have spices. Pause. What the fuck are these spices? Again, they're not giving you any details. I need details. What the fuck are these spices? Why y'all got so many fucking secrets? You know, y'all want us to eat this shit, but you don't want to tell us what's in it. Then you have artificial color. Another umbrella term. What the fuck are these artificial colors? So it says including yellow six, yellow five, and red 40. And the fact that they use the word including means that there are other artificial colors in this product that they're not telling us about. Then you have lactic acid, you have citric acid, you have sugar, garlic powder, more skim milk, red and green bell pepper powder, disodium inosinate, and disodium guanolate. So if you say, man, I want some Doritos, what you're really saying is I want some whole corn, corn, corn canola and sunflower oil. I want some corn dextrin. I want some salt. I want some milk, cheese culture, salt, enzymes, whey, MSG, buttermilk, skim milk, cheese cultures, more enzymes, whey protein, kind of onion powder, corn flour, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. That's what you're saying you want. There's no such thing of a Dorito. If you flip the package around and read the label, they're telling you what a Dorito is. Now let's talk about motherfucking MSG. MSG has been linked to obesity, cancer, migraines, asthma, reproductive issues, irritable bowel syndrome, autism, seizures, chest pain, heart irregularity, and even sudden cardiac death. What in the actual fuck? And this fucking bag of Doritos is loaded with MSG and I'm about to show you that and I'm about to show you that. Look at these hidden names for MSG. There's up to 30 different names for MSG or there's 30 different ingredients or chemicals that contain MSG. So if you look on the back of a label, like on the back of these Doritos, we saw it said monosodium glutamate. We saw that. It's not always spelled out that clearly. And if you remember some of the other ingredients in that bag, natural flavoring, natural flavors of any kind contain MSG. Whey protein, isolate and concentrate contain MSG. Let's look at some of the side effects of MSG. Rash, runny nose, hives, sneezing, asthma, flushing, arthritis, diarrhea, headaches, heart palpitations, insomnia, depression, paranoia, stomach issues, and jaw tightness. Look, when I tell y'all that everything you eat not only affects you physically, but it also affects you mentally and emotionally, and of course, spiritually, this is the type of shit I'm talking about. MSG is linked to depression and paranoia. These are mental illnesses. And MSG is used in over 80% of what they call processed foods. This shit is not food. None of this shit is food. Some more MSG symptoms. Commonly reported side effects of MSG are headaches, flushing, sweating, facial pressure or tightness, numbness, tingless, tingling or burning, rapid fluttering heartbeats, chest pain, nausea, and weakness. MSG is an excitotoxin linked with neurological disorders, migraines, seizures, infections, abnormal neural development, endocrine disorders, obesity, and motherfucking neurodegenerative diseases. And the FDA, y'all trust these motherfuckers. The FDA, a government organization, has classified MSG as safe. Some more side effects of MSG, and I'm not going to read all of these, but I'll just skim through it. You know, your circulatory system, it can cause swelling in the circulatory system. It causes heart problems, you know, diarrhea, nausea, vomiting, motherfucking rectal bleeding and bloating, um, 
flu-like achiness, joint pain, and stiffness. If you go down to neurological side effects, you got depression, you got mood swings, you got rage reactions, migraine, headaches, uh, dizziness, lightheadedness, loss of balance, disorientation, mental confusion, anxiety, panic attacks, hyperactivity, and behavioral problems in kids. That's just one fucking chemical in that bag. This is why I only eat fruit because nothing else makes sense. And as I went down the list of every fucking thing I was eating, looked at the ingredients and just researched some of them. You don't have to research all of them. You know, if you if you read the ingredients label and you look up the first ingredient and it says link to cancer, it's like, what else do you need to know? Like, you know enough right there to make an informed decision. You don't need to know everything. That's why I stopped eating Doritos.